Yeah, good morning. This is Moti Raz. And coming to my educational professional, uh, educational qualifications. I completed my graduation in electrical engineering as well as I'm taking VLSI, PhD in nanotechnology. Here now I'm going to teach by the subject name is reasoning. So I have been working as a arithmetic and reasoning trainer for various institutions in Hyderabad for last 11 years onwards. So today we are, we are going to discuss the topic name is calendar. Let us take coming to calendar. So definitely a questions will appear in various examinations either central government or I mean what we can say state examinations or any examinations definitely we can expect a questions. So definitely we can expect a questions. So maybe more than one but definitely we can expect a questions. So to get that questions what kind of things we have to learn from this topic and let us see the basics of basics of calendar. Now we will see just please listen carefully and uh, where I will mention the important points. Let us take now I am going to write here by the topic name is calendar by the topic name is calendar. So by the topic name is calendar. So coming to this topic first to get that mark from this topic we have to learn the difference between the difference between the difference between normal year and as well as leap year normal year as well as leap year a normal year consists 365 365 days 365 days and a leap year consists 366 366 days so why leap year consists 366 days means in a month of February in a month of February in leap year in leap year there are only there are sorry in normal year there are only 28 days and coming to leap year there are 29 days that's why a leap year consists 360 days it means leap year has one day more so let us take from this concept from this concept from this normal year so if anybody questions like that if anybody questions like that want to find out any days in any years so why we can say based on our days we can answer any kind of questions we can answer any kind of questions and easily we can answer let us take normal year let us take how many odd days are there in normal year now let us check so normal year has total number of days are 365 but here we have to calculate days we have to calculate days as for that a week consists seven days so as for that we can we can answer any day we can answer any day so as for that that's why i am dividing this 365 by a week it means a week consists 365 days so 752 ja so here we are getting 364 it means one is the odd day one is the odd day so as for the reminder we are saying here so when we divide 365 by 7 that's why we are getting reminder is one so that one is called reminder but here we have to consider this is a odd day and 52 is 52 hour weeks 52 hour weeks we can say like that it means let us take why what is the meaning of odd day what is the meaning of odd day if we take here if we take here let us take this is a 2018 this is the year of 2018 for example first january 2018 falls on monday falls on monday first january 2018 falls on monday 
then which day falls on which day falls on what we can say 1 1 1 2019 1 1 2019 if anybody questions like that if these kinds of questions will appear in an examinations what i told you 1 1 2018 falls on monday then which day falls on 1 1 2019 right so here 2018 is a leap year sorry 2018 is a normal year so as per this concept what we have learned in every normal year there are only one add day simply here add one day to the previous year then it will occur the very first day of the next year so here means 1 1 2018 falls on 2018 sorry 2019 falls on tuesday falls on tuesday clear friends so what we can say here 365 365 is a sorry 365 if a year consists 365 day then that is called normal year and when we divide it that year by 7 then we are getting the remainder is 1 that is called 1 add day it means if you add if you add 1 to the previous year that will get it what we can say here next day will come here that's why in such a style we can do these kinds of problems and coming to leap year so now simply we have to calculate we have to calculate number of odd days in leap year so here based on that one so let us take 366 so when we divide 366 with 7 so 752 we are getting 364 364 it means here 2 is the reminder this is called add day in the same style 52 are what we can say 52 are weeks so in leap year there are 52 weeks and 2 are add days in normal year there are 52 weeks and 1 hard day so based on that one based on that one let us take for example if you take 1 1 1 2016 2016 falls on monday 2016 falls on monday it means 2016 is a leap year 2016 is a leap year and then which day falls on 1 1 1 2017 1 1 1 2017 so here clearly we have discussed now 2016 is a leap year but i mean that's why in next year there will be two add days there will be two add days so there will be two add days it means 1 1 2017 falls on what we can say here falls on wednesday falls on wednesday so this is the concept this is the difference between leap year and normal year so once again i'll come here a normal year consists 365 days and a leap year consists 366 days when we divide with a week to the normal year we are getting one a day and when we divide leap year with a week then we are getting two odd days it means every normal year consists one a day and every leap year consists two odd days this point must be in your mind then we can go for next sessions so as for this concept so how many odd days will be in every 100 years every 200 years every 300 years so on that kind of concept now we are going to learn so it means for example very first day of any year very first day of any year if falls on monday then which day falls after 100 years after 200 years these kinds of questions may be happen may be appeared in, a, in an examinations so now we are going to check here so let us take 1 to 100 years 1 to 100 years so 1 to 100 years means every 100 years 1 to 100 years means every 100 years there are there are 76 are normal years and 24 are leap years 24 are 
leap years getting my point 76 are normal years and 24 are leap years so now only we have we have discussed every normal year consist one a day every normal year consist one a day and every leap year consist two a days getting my points friends in previous sessions we have learned every normal year consists one a day and every leap year consists two a days based on that so what we can say here 76 into 1 we are getting 76 and 24 into 2 we are getting what we can say 48 so when we add here 70 40 so 110 plus 124 we are getting getting friends so here 8 6 14 and 1 will be clear 8 6 14 and 1 will be carry and 4 7 11 plus 1 12 so total number of odd days are what we can say 124 124 so but here to calculate 124 from one day to 124 it's difficult task that's why so here also we have to find out the number of odd days in easy manner so then how we have to find out the less number of odd days means those day, days if divisible by 7 now it definitely it will be divisible so 7 1 ja, 7 we are getting and when we subtract 7 from the 12 we are getting 5 and 4 and 7 7 ja, 49 so how much we are getting there are 5 there are five is the reminder that is called a day it means every hundred years consist five hard days now come to the point here based on that based on normal year and leap year when we calculate when we calculate every hundred years consist five hard days every hundred years consist five hard days so hundred years consist five hard days in such a style in a such a style if you take 200 years it consists five odd days for five five odd days for first hundred and another five odd days for second hundred years so total number of total number of odd days are 10 so here when we divide this 10 by 7 again we are getting 7 1 ja, 7 and here 3 is the odd days three or r days in 200 years in the same style when we take here 300 years when we take here 300 years so five odd days for first hundred and uh, five odd days for second hundred and uh, another five odd days for last hundred means three there are three hundreds means each hundred consists five odd days in the same style so three five are 15 or days 15 or days so that 15 will be divisible by 7 7 2 ja 14 and we have left the one is the odd day so one is the odd day reminder is called odd day so in the same style every hundred years consist five odd days and in such a style 200 years consist 10 odd days that 10 will be divisible by 7 finally we have left the remainder is 3 so it means 200 years consist 3 odd days and 300 years consist what we can say 1 odd day in the same style what about 400 years here also how we can say like that so each 100 years consist 5 odd days so 4 five means 4 five is a 20 odd days plus 400 is a leap year 400 is a leap year that's why one day will be added so every 400 years consist 21 odd days 21 odd days so this 21 will be divisible by 7 7 3 is a 21 it means here 0 will be the remainder so it means it means every 400 years consist 
zero odd days every 400 years consist zero odd days in the same style 800 years consist how much 8 5 ja 40 8 5 ja 40 and plus in 800 years there are 400 is a leap year as well as 800 is also 800 is also leap year that's why two odd days will be added so total number of odd days are 42 so this 42 will be divisible by what we can say 7 mm, 42 will be divisible by 7 7 6 42 here reminder will be 0 so it means 800 year 800 year is also 0 at this same style what we can say 1200 here 1200 is also consist what we can say 0 at this 0 at this zero are this so up to in any leap year we can say like that in any leap year inside century years means 1200 years 1600 years and 2000 years so all these years consist mm -hmm.